Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to activate the Excel sheet dynamically and get that selected activate sheet name and number using a VBA user forum with a combo box control. So let's start the tutorial. And here we've got the final output of our application. Now let's select movies. So notice here the movies is activated. The selected active sheet name is movies and the sheet number is 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Close. Now if I click fruits, fruits is this one. If I want to activate from here, it can't. But here I can see fruits is activated. The selected active sheet name is fruits. The active sheet number is 1 because it's a first Excel sheet. If I select photos, file, sports. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice on my Excel workbook contains five worksheets fruits, sports, cars, movies, and photos. All these worksheets are empty at this moment. We don't require any data for this example. But my aim is, I want to select activate the worksheet dynamically. For example, if a user wants to open or activate the cars Excel sheet, he can open with a combo box dynamically using VBA. And also, I want to get that selected activate sheet name and also the number. The number is the index of the Excel sheet. Suppose if a user select the movies from the combo box, I want to activate this movies Excel sheet and I want to get this movie Excel sheet name and the number of this movies Excel sheet. The number is what? 1, 2, 3, 4. The Excel sheet number is 4. The index number is 4 of this Excel sheet. So let's write the coding part. In order to create a user forum, we require one VBA application. For that, go to developer and the developer there is a Visual Basic. And here we got the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. Now let's add one user form. Go to insert, click user form. Here we got the user form. Now just drag and drop one combo box on this user form. Now before write the actual code, let's uh, execute this application. And here we got the output. Now my first aim is I want to get all these Excel sheet names dynamically in this combo box. After that, when a user selects portals, I want to activate these orders. For example, if a user wants to select portals here, see, we can't open here from here when we are running this VB application. But I want to activate dynamically through this combo box. And also I want to get the selected active sheet name and the index number, accurate sheet number also. So first let's populate these Excel sheet names in this combo box. Let's close this application. Now select this user form, I click the mouse, go to view code. And now we require the initialize event procedure. Just delete this click event, the default one. Now what I'll do is I'll declare one, dim i as variant. And this variable, I want to count how many Excel worksheets are present in the active workbook. So for loop, I'm using for i is equals to 1, i is equals to 1, 2, um, activate, activate workbook dot sheets uh, dot count. I want to count those all. And now those sheet names I want to add in this combo box one dot add item add item uh, active workbook active workbook active workbook dot sheets the sheet takes the index value the index value is one dot uh, name I want to get all the names on in this combo box then we have to close our for loop with the next condition next type that's it now let's check the output and here we got all the excel sheet names in this combo box now my aim is 
if I select cos Excel sheet, I want to activate this cos. Suppose if I want to open here, see, I cannot open from here. I cannot activate. But here I can activate using the VBA code. So let's write the code. Now this time select the combo box, double click that one. We got the change event of this combo box. Now here the code is active, active sheet active sheet active sheet combo box one dot value dot sorry not active sheet it's a worksheet worksheets worksheets we are getting now to combo box one dot value dot activate activate so let's check the output i'm running this application now notice here when I click movies, it's already open movies here. Hotels, see here hotels is activate. When I click foods, foods is activated here. Cars, sports. Now and also I want to get the selected accurate sheet name and the number of the accurate sheet. So for that I'm using again switch over to the coding part in the combo box change event. I want to display that in the message box. Message box the active sheet name the selected active sheet name is the selected active sheet name is ampersand worksheets instead of adding the same thing just add this one add this one now here instead of activate I'm adding name name then uh, here we require underscore so I can add a next line the message now here what I'm doing ampersand vb new line n and l are capitals ampersand now the active sheet the active sheet number is this one we just use some space now instead of writing the same thing just copy this one and paste here now this one let's add index index so the first one is a in active sheet name and the second one is a active sheet index number that's it let's check the final results i'm running this application and here we got the final output of our application now let's select movies so notice here the movies is activated the selected active sheet name is movies and the sheet number is four one two three and four close now if i click fruits fruits is this one if i want to activate from here we can't but here i can see fruits is activated the selected active sheet name is fruits the active sheet number is one because it's the first access sheet now if i select photos file sports that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to get a selected active sheet dynamically and get that active sheet name and active sheet number using a VBA user form with a combo box. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please share, subscribe and leave your valuable comment. Catch you in my next video tutorial.